You guys, uh, spring's in the air. I don't have to tell you guys that. You're outside. <laughs> People are anxious because of spring being in the air to get back outside, to enjoy the sunshine, and that includes my writers. You know, my writers, they have to write hundreds of jokes every day just to get the 10 or 12 we use in the monologue, and honestly, a lot of those jokes just aren't good. <laughs> Sometimes I think they throw in a few stinkers on purpose just to fill the page and meet the assignment. But just because the days are getting longer, that doesn't mean we can tolerate laziness, which means it's time for another surprise inspection. Here's how this works. I'm going to read some real jokes really submitted by my writers. Some are dumb, some are offensive, some are just insane. Most importantly, my writers don't know we're doing this, and because they don't watch the show, they'll never know. Let's get started. Trader Joe's announced last week it has lowered the price of green onions to one scallion dollars. <laughs> uh, Brian uh, wrote that joke, and uh, <laughs> as you can tell both from the joke's content and his photo, he's a dad. <laughs> the food company Kraft Heinz has announced plans to install new equipment to decarbonize production at 10 facilities including heat pumps, electric heaters, and electric boilers, forcing the other industries to play catch up. <laughs> Who could possibly have written a joke like that? <laughs> this is just, there's, by the way, can we go back, uh, can we go back to those two cards? There's a billion things wrong with that joke. Um, the most important, so here's the thing, the writers get, every day, they get setups to jokes, and they can just write the punchlines. But they also don't, they can edit the setup, which clearly Brian didn't do. Again, if the punchline of the joke is this, forcing other industries to play catch up, tell me if you think you need all these words. <laughs> the food company Kraft Heinz has announced plans to install new equipment to decarbonize production <laughs> at 10 facilities. You're good there. <laughs> but he keeps in, including heat pumps, Electric heaters and electric, well, you almost forget it's about ketchup. <laughs> You're not getting paid per word. <laughs> a professional escape artist in Italy recently created a new Guinness World Records category after he escaped from a water tank in two minutes and 11 seconds while his hands and feet were restrained. The way he was able to do it was, his mother-in-law was in there with him. <laughs> Matt wrote that joke. We hired Matt uh, from the 1950s. <laughs> I got a good mother-in-law joke, you guys. Uh... <laughs> Officials in France have warned that cheeses like camembert and brie could disappear because of a decline in the fungi that makes the cheeses. Like this fun guy, Pierre. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> Why are you clapping? Why are you clapping? You just proved ketchup was his best work. <laughs> we did the ketchup joke, we didn't realize that was his peak. <laughs> According to a new survey, 48% of Americans said that they are more likely to eat out after receiving their paycheck. Still no, said DJ Khaled. <laughs> That's based on a story I wouldn't Google. <laughs> and that's a dad joke I wouldn't tell your kid. <laughs> a federal judge in New Jersey ordered the state last week to redesign its election ballot. Also, all elections must now take place on Jersey Day. They all, no, they're still here. <laughs> Allie. <laughs> now, if you're a regular watcher of this segment, and why would you be? <laughs> you know that one of my writers in particular seems to go out of his way to shock and horrify. It's almost as though when he writes his jokes, he's hoping they'll show up in surprise inspection, which means it's time for a special edition of surprise inspection, oops, all scallions. You're not better than me.
In a new interview, RNC co-chair Lara Trump said she will ensure that all donations will go to causes Republicans care about and added, quote, trust me, I am the daughter-in-law of Donald Trump. Yeah, that does not instill confidence. That's like if your babysitter said, trust me, my sister's Casey Anthony. <laughs> By the way, the only person that laughed was Scollins over there. <laughs> Oops, all Scollins. A dog in Florida recently dug up an unexploded military ordinance and did what any dog would do. So the dog dug up an unexploded bomb and then used it to kill the mailman. And then, um, and then the mailman, uh, the mailman's family chose on the tombstone to just put mailman. <laughs> Today, don't you dare. Today was Manatee Appreciation Day. Uh, in that case, thanks for making everything in the sea look hotter. <laughs> Anything to say about that one, bud? No. <laughs> he didn't have to come to work today. According to a new study, 37% of Americans slept worse in 2023 than in previous years. Well, yeah, he's been in jail. <laughs> By the way, let me tell you guys something. It's a true story. These are the best ones I could choose from. <laughs> and Scollins walked in today and goes, I said, are you here to celebrate what we're doing today? And he goes, yeah, but I guess I'm not gonna be celebrating as much as I thought I was. And I go, yeah, some of those jokes I can't do. And he said, you know what he said to me? And by the way, he works for me. He goes, coward. <laughs> and they're all worse than these. <laughs> Let's see if we'll, do you think we're gonna get him back with the last one? Based on how it's been going? <laughs> I'll give you a chance. I can stop now. Do you want me to do the last one or you? Yeah. Okay. It's the, it's the dog, it's the dog one. Do you remember which one it is? I don't know. Dogs in a conga line? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. And finally, a dog trainer in Germany set a world record for most dogs in a conga line by telling them that Michael Vick died. This has been a surprise inspection.